Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at a hypothetical 2024 matchup. We've got House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries going up against Speaker of the House Mike Johnson. This is another one suggested to me a long time ago. I guess these two guys are well known enough, so let's do a quick one and go through this matchup. So to make it short, I think both of them are establishment friendly enough. Certainly on things like foreign aid, military spending, Israel, all that stuff is pretty much the same. I think Jeffries is going to be better with the unions and moderates. Johnson is a pretty laid back guy but I do think he's going to come off as a little bit too conservative, a little bit too religious. That, I think, is going to hurt him a little bit. But like with every matchup, everything comes down to the national environment, the issues at the time, the running mate, how they run their campaigns, etc. So you can emphasize different things, and your map is going to look different, but let's go through these states real quick. We'll start in Alaska, and that is going to be safe for Johnson. Hawaii is safe for Jeffries. Same with Washington, Oregon, and California. Next in Nevada, I think it would be competitive, but I think it's going to go to Jeffries. I have it at a tilt mark. Margin. Idaho and Utah safe for Johnson. Arizona is again going to be close. As the state just moved too far past the Republican Party, it's tough, but I'm going to say Johnson is able to just get together enough of the coalition he needs to win the state by a tilt margin. Montana, Wyoming safe for Johnson. Colorado is going to be over 10 and safe for Jeffries. New Mexico is going to be a little less than that and likely for Jeffries. North and South Dakota safe for Johnson. Nebraska at large safe for Johnson. The second district is going to go toward Jeffries by a lean margin. Can Kansas, Oklahoma, safe for Johnson. Texas is going to be likely for Johnson. Minnesota is going to be the opposite, and it's going to be likely for Jeffries. Probably about five to seven points. Iowa is going to be under 10. It's going to be likely for Johnson. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, safe for Johnson. Into the Rust Belt, we've got Wisconsin. This is going to be close, but with Johnson here, I don't think he's going to quite get it done. But polarization is going to keep it at a tilt for Jeffries. Illinois, safe for Jeffries. Michigan is going to be about one to three points. Leans for Jeffries. Indiana, safe for Johnson. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, safe for Johnson. Down to Florida, I think Johnson is going to be weaker here, but I'm going to assume the trends keep this just at about five, maybe up to five and a half points and go likely for Johnson. Georgia is highly debatable. The Atlanta suburbs, I don't think are going to be excited about Johnson. However, he's from Louisiana. I think he might do a little bit better in some of these southern states. I can see it either way, but I did give it to Johnson by a tilt. South Carolina, safe for Johnson. North Carolina, one or two points leans for Johnson. If we skip up to Ohio, that is going to be likely for Johnson. West Virginia, safe for Johnson. In the northeast corner, we've got Maine at large, and that is going to be likely for Jeffries. The first district, very safe for Jeffries. The second district, it's much more Trump-friendly. I don't think Johnson is going to get close to the Trump margin, but given those trends, he's still going to get it by a mid-single-digit lean margin. Next door in New Hampshire, this I think would go at least three or four for Jeffries, so he's going to get it by a lean. Now we've got the blue states, Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Easily safe for Jeffries. Pennsylvania is next. I think Jeffries would win Erie County. I don't think Johnson would do a ton in the Philadelphia suburbs, so that's going to put this at a lean margin for Jeffries. The last state is Virginia, and I think Jeffries here is going to finish up with a mid-single digit likely margin. So the final total is Hakeem Jeffries, 276, Mike Johnson, 262. Like with most of these matchups, it's close, but Jeffries here has the edge. Now, I do think Johnson could win it if it's it's a red leading national environment. So depending on how much weight you put on that, that could tip it one way or the other. But I don't think Jeffries is going to get progressives out at all. I also don't think there's going to be overflowing enthusiasm for Johnson from the Trump base. Independents, moderates, suburban voters, I could see them being a little bit more put off by Johnson. He's definitely going to be branded as some type of extreme evangelical. But on the other end, I also think Jeffries is fairly bland, and he pretty much seems to just carry on the torch of the Democratic establishment. Some of the issues would benefit each side. Jeffries would talk up abortion and democracy. Johnson is going to talk up the economy and immigration. It really does go on and on. It all depends on how you want to look at it. It's the usual trying to find a balance between economic and cultural slash social issues. It is similar to the Hakeem Jeffries Kevin McCarthy map I did last year. So you could make some tweaks, but eventually this is the map that I settled on. So let me know in the comments. Do you mostly agree with this map or do you have a totally different way of looking at it? Do you agree on every single one of these ratings or would you change 11 or 12 of these states? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join if you'd like to help support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.